the all new 2024 Toyota Tacoma has a very large chin spoiler. It does indeed, it's absurd. Well, we're here to find out, does it matter? We're gonna run two MPG loops with the chin spoiler and then without and compare the differences. That's right, so let's find out. Now what you're looking at here are Michelin Primacies and these are mounted on 18 inch wheels. These are 265, 65R18s, okay? Now, important to note, they're not off-road tires. These are basically built for the road, for the street. As such, we expect them to be more efficient than you would have some off-road tire, right? Doesn't that make sense? This is the new Tacoma Limited, which means it's the most luxurious version of the Tacoma. Yeah. And it has a turbocharged engine, like all of them now do. It's a 2.4 liter straight four with 278 horsepower and 317 pound-feet of torque. It's an eight-speed automatic transmission too, right? Yep. And we'll be running this loop, of course, in two-wheel drive. It's a perfect day, no wind. Yeah. We got lucky. Yeah, and it's about uh, 55 degrees right now, so good temperature to run this vehicle. Also, EPA rates this truck, or at least Toyota estimates the rating at 20 city, 23 highway, and 21 combined. Let's see how it goes with the chin first. This chin spoiler drops down between seven and three quarters to just about eight inches right over here. And if you think about it, <laughs> that's a lot of chin, even for Leno. This is for aerodynamics, obviously. This is not for off-roading. And I know many of you are gonna say the same thing. This would look a lot better without this, but how functional is this? We're about to find out. You notice this sticker? This truck is technically a pre-production truck. As such, you may notice that some of the fit and finish in it isn't perfect. And to be fair to Toyota, once we get the production one, it should be bolted together a little bit better. As always, TFL runs on Sinclair fuels because of a couple of reasons. DinoCare additives to help the engine run a little bit cleaner over the long haul. And also DinoPay app because you could save some money per gallon. That's right, it's easy. Yeah, it is easy. And also find the stations near you. We're gonna be using 87. This is what Toyota recommends. Hence, that's what's working. Yeah, and it's regular fuel for a lot of the country, right? Right, I mean, we do use 85 up here. We can because of high elevation, but 87 is basically your standard fuel throughout the nation. Yeah, and um, that's nice because it's not, it doesn't take premium, at least. Yeah. It is a turbocharged engine. Which is what I was worried about. Yeah, but that's okay. Other turbocharged engines do suggest premium. So the new fuel tank on the 2024 fourth generation Tacoma is 18.2 gallons. 18.2 gallons. It was 21 gallons or just over that before on the previous gen. So they actually decreased the size of the tank, which if they made it more efficient, makes sense. But what if it balance out, right? But what if it's not more efficient? Well, that's what we're going to find out. All right, dude. So we have a giant 14 inch infotainment screen. Yeah. Do we have to pay to stare at it? Uh, no, but I want to clear the current data okay. so we get the freshest amount of information here okay. for the uh, audience. Okay, so now we're departing absolutely brand new thing. But you had to go into the screen in order to... I know, and it's not actually down here, even though it shows me on my little gauge cluster as right. well. But I had to do it through here, which oh. is kind of unique. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that. By the way, look at the cameras, dude. The cameras are amazing. I love the fact they match the color of the truck. Yes. That's cool. And uh, actually at low speeds, it maintains this camera view. You can, of course, disable it. Yes, but it comes back on automatically if you want it to. Yeah, if you slow down, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So if you hate that feature, you can disable it. If yep. you like that feature, you can leave it. If the hybrid is more efficient, how much more efficient do you think it will be? <laughs> well, we have a clue because somebody at Toyota has published an information about the new upcoming 2024 Land Cruiser. Yes. With the same hybrid system. Yes. With 27 it's MPG. Exacto Mundo. And we covered that. Yes. Which was awesome. You can go to, well, actually, it's probably too late for all TFL, but go to tfltruck.com to find yeah. that. So let me get into the fast lane. <laughs> I did that. I said you that. Said yes. That. Oh, uh, I am in the fast lane, but I'm, I'm using, I'm going speed limits. It's 65 now, and we're going to be on the tollway at 75. Uh -huh. So this is an all highway MPG loop, steady state. So we should see the 23 MPG that Toyota is estimating. 
At the very least. Yeah. Um, so does it show real time on yours? What yeah, we're 15 getting? and a half. 15.2. Right there. There we go. But we are climbing. So oh, yeah, just, I'm, not, I'm just, not worried. Yeah. Just, um, just we need to chill out for a few seconds and then we'll figure it out. Ah, sounds good. So I wanted to mention a couple more things. Yeah. Right, so first of all, powertrain. Right, We're, it, we know it's a turbocharged engine, 2.4 liter. Right. But there's actually three different versions of this powertrain because uh, they're still offering the manual transmission too. Right. Which is amazing, I, I love that. But not on all models. No, not on all models. So when you get a manual six speed, we have an eight speed right now. Yeah. Uh, the power rating is a little bit lower and the red line is a little bit lower on that engine um, just to make it all work together. Okay. Then there's also the base truck, the T Tacoma SR, which has yet another version of this turbocharged engine with a lot lower power numbers just to make it more affordable. But it's still turbocharged. Yeah, all of them are turbocharged. All right. But, and then the final one, of course, is the hybrid. Yeah, and that comes later. And that's not going to have a manual transmission option. No, 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 no. I, I, of course, we wish it would. Yeah, I, but... talk, I talked to the Toyota guy. And he, he, he comforted me. I think he offered me a hug because I was pretty upset. This one, we can still use two-wheel drive. Some other Tacoma Limited versions, especially the hybrids, will have a full-time four-wheel drive system. This one, we're still running in two-wheel drive. Yeah, but, but this then, has a locker and everything else, right? It's no, a... we've got some empty spaces. Oh, no. You see this? But, dude, um, the cool thing is every Tacoma, every new Tacoma has Toyota Safety Sense Driver Assistance 3.0, which means this. Look, I'm not supposed to be doing this because this is not full hands-free. Yeah. But it will steer for me. Uh, you know, for just a few seconds. Right, and it has the radar um, distance thing, so you can go radar cruise control, basically. Yeah, adaptive cruise control, so all of them have that. There's a couple of premium features, also something they call traffic assist at lower speeds below 25 miles an hour. It is a hands-free system, and mm -hmm. it will drive for you as long as you're paying attention. Okay. So, at least we have that. Yeah, I will say this, the interior is way more comfortable than the prior one. My leg position is much better. You've got to admit that yours is Oh well. yeah, I love, uh, this is great. Yeah, compared to yes. the last one, that's, the cab has stretched in height, the seats have gone up a little bit, and it's made all the difference. Although the back seat is still limited to space. It is. So our camera guy, Cole, is sitting behind us. He's actually removed the lower part of both his legs. Well, not quite, but still, it's not super great leg room in the back. No, it really isn't. All right, so we're at the halfway point of our first loop with the chin. That is correct. So uh, how many miles are we aiming to do altogether? So altogether, each loop is 57 miles, and we go back to the exact same station. So we're going out and back in. So let's turn around, and then we'll show you also how loud or quiet this cabin is. All right, we're going to be nice and quiet. We're going to measure the sound. That was about 63, right? Yeah, it was about 63. Well, okay, so it's not the quietest truck we've ever measured. No. But it's below, way below 70 decibels, which means it is a nice and quiet, and, and it's actually comfortable. I will say it's way more comfortable than the previous Tacoma by far. I will say that the Ford uh, Ranger was quieter mm. in the cab. Uh, at Nissan may be the same, a little bit quieter. Um, but the seating position in this is now better than the Nissan's. For sure. So it's an interesting mix. Part of the reason why is the Nissan doesn't have a telescoping steering wheel, and that actually does make a big difference for some people. Uh, so it's an interesting mix, but it's definitely an improvement over the previous model. Definitely. We did it. Yep, we did the whole loop. We're gonna pull up to the gas station in just a moment. But the truck is saying 22.3 mpg. Yes. So, uh, I mean, it's supposed to be 23-ish. 
Yeah. But what if it's not sure? What if we'll get another number at the pump? That's a good question. And on top of that, this vehicle is being driven by you. You do have a left foot. Um, no, dude, I was using cruise control. Yeah, this yeah. truck has cruise control. Yes, it does, unlike some. And also, there are three adults in this truck. That we need to mention that. It's really important. So it's real world testing. That's it what we do. It is real world testing. Again, A7. I cannot wait, dude. Come on. So 57 miles was the loop. Correct. So we'll calculate and then the fun begins because you get to time me removing the chin. Because they said it's easy. Toyota yeah. says it's easy. How many bolts? Nine. Nine bolts. All right, far out. Okay, let's wait 30 seconds. There we go. All right. All right. That only cost us seven dollars and seventy cents. Fifty-seven miles divided by two point three six nine equals whoa, twenty-four point one ish. So this vehicle was undervaluing its MPG. But it's actually better. Yes, actually twenty-four is a good number. Well, not only that, it's actually better than the uh, EPA rating. Well, the the. Estimates. Estimates. Yeah. yeah. And also better than any Ford Ranger we've tested with a turbocharged engine. Okay. So score one for the chin spoiler. Okay. But now we got to pull it off. All right. We're, let's get the tools. Many truck makers have chin spoilers. Indeed they do. And many of them say you can remove them easily. Yeah. But now Toyota says this is really easy. Okay. But is it? Well, it's nine bolts, right? Yes. Okay. And you have a power tool. 10 millimeter socket. You could also use a Phillips head screwdriver. Okay. So I guess what we're going to do now is we're going to time this and see how okay. long it takes him. Hey, hey, don't get in the ready position yet. I am in, no, this is like a NASCAR. Okay, all right, fair okay. enough. All right, so folks, are you ready? We're going to see how long it takes him and start. Okay, so there's two bolts on each side inside and I can put my tool in here actually. One. There's another one a little bit further in. Yes. Okay. Now there's five on the front. Yes, look at this. Right here. That pavement looks really uncomfortable. Oh, it's wonderful. Okay. So I'm here for you. Oh wait, it's already falling down. Yeah, well you yeah. Oh. Okay. Ah. I like the worming you're doing okay. on the ground. Thank you. No, no, it's, it's just all good. I'm really glad that you're not working at all. No, I, I am. I'm holding the phone okay. and making sure that the timer is still running. Okay. Okay. By the way, you're at one minute. One minute? Yeah. Well, if this was NASCAR, I don't know if they'll be happy or sad. Well, Toyota does have a presence with NASCAR. Uh, yeah, they do. Haha! -ha, timer! Stop it! One minute and 16 seconds. Bear in mind that we had prepped for this, so he had the right tool in hand. And yes. He's had a lot of energy drinks today. So he's, he's, uh, this time is a high mark. Dude, we've done this with a Ram 1500. You and I, I think, tried to remove a chin off of a GMC Canyon. Canyon yeah. That was that, yeah, that not was, easy. No, that didn't go well. <laughs> So this one was relatively easy, especially for me, but it was relatively easy, you gotta admit. All right, dude, let's reset the data for no chin. The chin is off. Okay. And we're off to the races. I'll tell you right now that the uh, aesthetics, completely different vehicle now. <laughs> I know, it's a brand new truck. Yeah, it no longer has a snowplow. They call him Mr. Plow. Mr. Plow. Halfway down. Whoa, dude, this is close. Yeah. Uh, the last reading we had was, what, 22.8 with the chin? Or with a three. 
Was it 23.3? 22.3. 22.3. And this is 22.2. What if it either doesn't matter in our test, or what if it's better without the chin? Then you know what we're going to say. Uh, we have to redo the whole thing over and over and over again because it doesn't make any sense. I have a feeling it's gonna it all pan out at the end. Okay. And if it doesn't, that's fine because then we give them useless information, which apparently some people think we do anyway, and then it'll be fine. <laughs> all right. Well, let's finish up. Let's go back and get the actual result. Sounds good. Uh, Nathan. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Uh, we're at the same place on the second loop, the where we were in the first in the first loop yeah but but it, it just got to the same place 22.3 is that what it said last time yeah um, but how about this how about it's been learning our driving my driving style today yeah. and maybe this is correct from the last time when it wasn't correct yeah because we got 24 before at the pump right and if we get more to 22 then it would all make sense it would all make sense but okay. if it doesn't then we have a lot of explaining to do i'm yeah. sorry you have a lot of explaining to do yeah yeah so now we have to go to the pump yeah oh yeah all right let's see what the truth is let's find out So, what would you expect? Like normally, like 10% difference, right? I would say about, maybe, maybe, maybe 5%, maybe between something five like and 10%, that. Yeah. Okay, that would make sense. And on the short, short term, that doesn't sound like much, but if you think about long term ownership, that could save you a couple thousand dollars with the gas. Yeah. Which I think is, oh, okay. Here we go, 30 seconds. One, zero. There it is. Hmm. Okay, Andre. So, dude, we had 24.06 before. Yeah. Right? So now we went the exact same route. You were watching me, right? Yes, we were driving together. Okay. 57 miles. Yes. Divide by 2.44. No. No, it's okay. Oh, it's worse. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh. We're okay. I, I thought it was going to be better. <laughs> Uh, Breathe. To 23.4. Right. So the last one was 24.1. So, yeah. So that's 0.7 ish of a MPG, which is like 5% ish or even less than 5%. But it is a difference. All right. Guys, I'm just going to call it right now. What? When you get your Toyota with this, yes. get rid of it. Are you calling it? I'm calling it. Get rid of it. I don't see the point. The difference is not great. It's no. not that great. It's not significant. It's not significant. Get rid of this. This will make a nice, I, I don't how know, about skateboard. Sca Where is Matt? I miss Matt. I miss Matt too. Yeah, I'm sorry. All right, well, thanks. This is real world testing. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at oldtfl.com. Check it out. And now you have to put this back on. No.